This is my Spikes Tactical Crusader and the Spikes Tactical uh, Pipe Hitters uh, rifle, which is awesome also. Both from Spikes Tactical, the Pipe Hitters is a little bit different than the Spikes. Um, I'm running a Aimpoint H1 and then I also run this um, Black Spider Optics uh, one to four, which is an awesome. I ran it through the class, which I really, you're running, if, if everyday optic, if I was to choose one optic, it'd probably be a one to four or something, maybe a one to six or something like that. I have a one to four US optics on this one at this line around, and I wanted to throw a one to four on this one because it's just gonna be a rifle for everything. This is set up kind of for home, home defense aim point a little faster, well, not faster acquisition, but um, probably, I, I just like to have a red dot in my house. Anything else, if I'm going to a range or anything, putting a one to four on it. Um, I'm just switching up. This is like, this. If, if I had something in the case, this would be it. Aim point and a one to four right next to each other. So I could flip flop them, they hold zeros. This is the um, American Defense uh, recon mount. This is also another American Defense mount on that one. Um, eventually I'm probably going to get a recon which is it's pushed a little bit farther out because usually you want them to sit right on the edge of your charging handle right here like straight up the back of your scope. So this one's a little bit um, back than I usually like it so I'm going to get a new mount so it pushes a little forward. These are kind of made for um, like a normal scope. So these are kind of AR platforms when it pushed up. Well, they seem to work better on mine. Um, let's see what else. All right, let's start. This one. Let's start first. This comes with a normal Magpul back on it. The swing swivels uh, different. It has like a swivel, which you can run your, run this through here, your sling right through here, just thread it through. This one has a plate with a quick release here. So if you want to run your sling there, I run two point slings um, on my rifles. Um, I usually put them up here, but I, maybe I'll try it here and see how it goes. I know, um, James likes to run the back plate. Never tried it. Maybe I'll try it in my next class just to see how I like it. Um, I think that's how you should try all your equipment. Don't try anything new. Like you got to train with it, you know, before you decide on putting it somewhere. Anyway, um, you know, quick releases have mine run at the uh, forward part of the rail. Some people run them here. I think it's almost too much, like a single point. Um, I prefer to run them here. People, it's just personal preference. These come with both of them, come with rubber rail mounts that cover the rail for the heat. Um, if you're running, run a bunch of mags, run in class, uh, these help out a lot. These rails are pretty open though and they vent out, so they run pretty cool. Uh, top of my Crusader, they even have cutouts in the top right here for uh, more ventilation. You know, it's just wasted aluminum, so they cut them out. These are M-Log, both of them. Um, they, this one comes with the, the Crusader comes with the Spikes Tactical. Let me, this is manual focus, so let me focus on this thing. And uh, it's pretty cool. It has the little spiders on the grip, awesome. And this one comes with a, or it did come with a mission I think it's a mission first, mission first grip, which actually is pretty good. You know, I had a, a Bravo Company one and this feels really similar. This is more like the Magpul, if you like that. You know, and the grip angles, they don't really matter to me too much. People say it's more ergonomic. When you're in a class, I didn't really feel it. Um, I asked for upgrade on this one for a CMC trigger, so I think it came with a stock, um, like their enhanced trigger, but I went for a CMC. 
They both come with anti-roll pins and ambi um, selectors. This, one, this has a different selector on it though. I don't know if it's just, I don't know the difference. Anyway, um, let's get to buttstocks. Yeah, this came with a, a Magpul buttstock, but I put uh, Mission First. Um, I've been running Mission First since they, they started coming on the market. I saw them at SHOT Show. Um, it looked a little weird at first, but I um, went with it just because I wanted to get rid of weight. And people ask why is weight so important. And once you start setting up your rifles for a 24 hour rifle, which I'm eventually gonna do a different setup. This is a, a D-Ball I-2 with a, a Surefire Vampire um, Scout Light. Probably gonna go to a white light only, a little bit bigger two, two cell battery with um, the other uh, civilian legal with the illuminator on it because this doesn't have illuminator. I want to get there eventually, but it's like 1300 bucks. Awesome. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, Crusader obviously has the Psalms 1441. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. Awesome verse. Has the, let me see, has the uh, war, peace, and God wills it if it was full auto which is awesome touch and also has it in, um, it's probably Latin there. And it means the same thing, I looked it up. Has a shield on this side, first on this side. Has a spikes tactical um, enhanced light bolt carrier. Um, I'll open it up in a second, show you that and the difference between these two. Also has the spikes tactical, um, the new spike sights, which are, Awesome. I'll put, I'll get a uh, close up on that. Flip up sights. Super light, super small, super awesome. Okay. Keep, I always keep the front one up um, just so I can lollipop my, my uh, red dot on it. I do that because I was in a class and I was link, I was in a weird angle and I couldn't find my dot because I couldn't get behind it. So, um, sorry, I need to focus. So I figured out that it was easier to do it, um, to have that front sight. So I try to find my front, front sight post and then the dots there. This came with a normal charging handle. I, um, my other rifle, I had a, uh, uh, Bravo Company, um, lever. So instantly put that on. So it just comes with a normal charging handle. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people make these tricked out rifles. And the problem is, is that um, you're going to change everything anyway. I mean, even triggers, people change. So, oh, there's a little bit of the sight, how it lays. Oh, and it has the Crusader shield right there also, which is awesome. Um, a lot of people change their charging handles, so I instantly did, just like everyone else. Oh, I do like this part where the hole is and the buffer tube has the position numbers. I think that's a nice touch. I think that was cool. It's because you have your, and it doesn't seem like that much, but when you run your optics and your dots, you kind of want them in certain positions, so it's easy just witness, uh, visual witness of that. Awesome. All right, let's go to the pipe hitters. Oh, one more thing. This one comes with the Dynacomp, which is pretty awesome. You know, I was like, you know, I came from a, a Lantac Dragon on my other rifle uh, and I was trying that, but the concussion is so brutal. So brutal. This is the Dynacomp. Um, works well. Ports on the sides, all the ports, all the ports on top, side view. So, mini close up of this side. This side is awesome. Super light. So, obviously, you want the lightest rifle possible because you're going to strap on all those other crap and you're going to have an eight pound rifle pretty quick. All right, right away, pipe hitters. 
R2 brake, Spikes Tactical new R2 brake. This brake is a three port brake. I actually like it better than my, um, my uh, Lantac Dragon, even though that one's a three port also. This one is, man, super awesome. I think someone's here. Hold on. All right. Dynacom, I mean, uh, R2. Awesome ports on top, different size chambers. Um, obviously, there's some thought going into this. Uh, this is a cold hammer forged barrel. Looks like a lightweight barrel. Um, it's a lightweight barrel. Also comes with the spikes um, sight, which I'll get a close up on that. Um, same rail as the Crusader, all the way back. This one, they look the same, right? Totally not the same. Comes with the um, comes stock with the Ambi trigger uh, safety, like I said, um, and the. Uh, CMC trigger. This one does come with the BCM BCM charging handle stock. This comes with it. Also, this also comes with the. So this rifle, this rifle does come with the Mission First minimum stock right out of the box. Comes with uh, the Mission First grip, enhanced trigger guard. Also has the same buffer tube, has the same buffer, which they both have the, I think the heavier buffer. Pipe hitters logo. Pipe hitters logo, anti-roll pin. This is the pipe hitters bolt carrier. Seems like it got a little bit of a uh, cutout here and a little bit of weight reduction here. It says Made in USA. These are super greasy because I like to run my rifles greasy, even though these are nickel boron. It has the Spikes logo, which I'm getting a little bit of light. Let's see if I can get it up there. No, it's not going. Spikes logo on the side. Pretty standard bolt carrier besides. A little cutout here that says made in the USA. So, top view, pretty standard. Okay, the Crusader bolt carrier. All of a sudden, you see these dimples. It's a uh, kind of flattened out and like on a couple surfaces here. Maybe this saves on weight. Looks like they're cutting cutting weight in different different places. Standard uh, bolt. These both have standard bolts, but then you see the dimpling, the cutout for weights here, all the way down, and then the back. Top view.